Hi folks, uh, I did get out again. Uh, again, I'd like to thank the subscribers, new subscribers, and uh, I'm hoping, Celeb, you got your package by now. Uh, let me know on that, please. Um, but, <laughs> subscribers, uh, I said I'd do a, another giveaway at 300. Now, if there's a problem getting a bit of pay dirt out, then what I'm doing, I've got another channel, but and I do um, breed a few quail. Well, I'm starting. On that and I'm going to make some belt buckles that's a quail that's not the finished item that's just something I'm playing about with this is another one what I'm playing about with it's reversed um, yeah it's inset so basically the eye always follows you but any suggestions for a belt buckle design for a gold washer I'll uh, I'll do it and I'll give it away on uh, the 300 subscribers <coughs> But as I said, I did get down to the river and sometimes you just have to go. Right folks, I didn't think I were going to get out today. I have got literally a couple of hours. Now, what was going to be a testing day, or a testing trip, I've decided to come out and run a few buckets, because as I said, I have got a couple of hours, I'm not going to be running up and down the river. And I've been here before, there's a culvert there. I haven't tested the other side of culvert, but I took a quite a bit of material out of here, this area here, and I'm looking at lying at river. Uh, did, did alright, a lot of small stuff, not massive. I'm guessing most of the bowls actually in that bank. <laughs> but I can't dig it. I could eat away at the edge. Um, I got some nice gold out of that waterfall. Not huge amounts, but a nice clunker and not clunker, but you know, a bigger bit and uh, some nice other shapes. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get slow set up. And I'm just going to run this here. To look at the line from that corner. I did some tests up there, I didn't find anything on that corner, funnily enough, but I didn't like do a lot of testing. I, what I'll probably end up doing with that is I'll dig a trench across it, see if we can find any gold, then I'll do it pan for pan. Uh, but what I'm assuming is that the gold come across there, dropped into that area at waterfall, because that's what the best bit in the middle, and I'm hoping some. Nice clunky bits might have dropped off there. I'll get on with it. So these are the first two buckets. Now I'm not expecting a great deal of gold in them because like a fool, when I clean that like, <laughs> put a lot of tailings on top of there and a lot of rocks. I'm placing them back in the waterfall so next time big gold comes down in a pat in there. And see how these first two go. And if not, I'll work from sluice this way. Obviously it's quicker to get it into sluice and uh, hopefully I'll get 10 buckets through before I have to go and see what we get. Um, yeah, let's go. So, first two buckets, I've seen absolutely nothing in the map, which well, I might have expected one because I did get a bit, little bit deeper than that rubbish that I chucked on there like an idiot. But what I've noticed, if you look here now, and get out of the light, this runs like riffles. I uh, don't know how deep that was, but I'm going to excavate that along there with another two buckets and see what I get out of that. And if nothing, if it's not looking good, I'll stop just doing the hole there and work this way. But that looks like it could be interesting. I don't remember cleaning that out. I'm sure I didn't. So I'll clean that.
So four buckets in. He's looking bad. Can't see anything that I can say 100% gold, so a bit of a bugger. But I did clean that, that edge out. I cleaned along there and I did pump it as well. And I shoveled some stuff back because I was getting into this. Oh, can't see. I shoveled along there and cleaned it. Uh, so, let's <laughs> call this plan C. I'm going to dig there, get as much snow as I can and work on lower averages. I know there's gold along that bank. I know there were gold in there. There's got to be gold between that point and that point. So hope we can find some today. Maybe the river gods have beseeched me. It's looking very, very bad. I still see nothing in that. Buckets five and six. Could this be the day of the skunk? It's really quite deep here. Uh, but, well, but it's deep. I was surprised it's not sort of on bedrock straight away because it is there. So it could be deeper, but it's also uh, very silty and clay material. What's in there at the minute? I'll try and get another four through. See what we can do. Before I do start, I'm gonna take two this way, two that way. Uh, one that way, one that way, not two. I'm gonna run that one. So I know which one it is. I'm gonna run that one. So I know which one it is. See if there's anything in them. Buckets from there. Now I did think I saw a piece in that, but I can't see it now. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. I did one from there, that one. I'll run it, see what's in it. Now I'll run the second bucket. Now I think that's the piece I saw that first bucket. It was flipped up like that and I can't see it. So not being sure, I'm gonna take another bucket from there. What I'm getting here is a real lot of uh, old organic material it's not sort of hard packed there's a lot of clay in it but there's a lot of brown leaves and other stuff so i'm guessing it came from there so i'm going to run another bucket from there see what happens so i took two more out of there there's more gold than that, not a lot. <laughs> it's, getting, it's deep there, that's surprising me. Now, could tell me two things. Could go very deep and there's another drop off there somewhere. I'd like to find that because if there's another drop off there and it's old, there could be some nice chunks in it. So what I'm gonna do is work that way and that way and come back here another time. Now, if I'd have been far away, I would have been testing like crazy. I would have been going from that corner to that corner the next corner taking at least three or four pans out of each place but because I'm five minutes away I can afford to come and just dig <laughs> though it could have been a stupid decision it might pay off I'm going to try and get another couple of three buckets through four if I can it's uh, one o'clock I've got to be back for two and uh, we'll see what we've got let's hope there's more in carpet I'll show you let's hope so there's more in carpet than there is in that uh, There's a piece. There's that piece. There's another piece up there. I've seen three or four pieces in it. <laughs> four pieces of gold. At least I'm not skunked. Oh, there's another piece. Five. Beauty. Twelve buckets. Still going deeper there. Like I said, that surprised me that. We know where the gold is, even on this river. It's at the bottom, the good stuff. Not a great deal in that. Oh, isn't a, not a bad bit so I'll clean it out we'll have a look I will be back the river gods are playing with me and I'm really surprised I ain't hit bedrock yet oh the clay there the clay I've hit it there it's only there so it can't be too deep there as I said if there is a good another good drop there and I can find it and get to actual bottom 
then there should be some good gold in there. I've got a nice dam now. Good flow. Don't want to waste it. Let's clean it out, have a look. So, not as bad as it could have been, I suppose. That's just top mat. There's not a lot, but there's a lot of really fine smashed up lead look. It's all lead. So, I'm in the right place. Oh, there's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there might be eight or nine pieces, ten pieces. Not much a result. Let's have a look, see what's in the carpet. It's the carpet. I don't know how many. Probably getting about eight or nine fines. Really fines. <laughs> I'll wash the bucket through again, there might be some a little bit more in that, but that is how it is. Some you win, some you lose. I still think there's more in it. It's, uh, as I say, I'm not even deep yet, so I'm not even to the bottom. But we'll see. So guys, that's the result. Not a lot. About 20 pieces, I think. It's interesting how small that lead is bashed up and squashed down. So I'm in the right spot. As I said, I think, well, I know it'll go deeper, so I've got to go deeper.